Bam! Did I scare you? Probably. I find it absolutely hilarious. If that actually scared you, comment down below and let me know if it made you jump. What do you guys think of that intro? Epic, right? Because I'm a darn legend. Uh, if only that were true, I'd be rocking one of these bad boy Dexalons we're about to cover in today's video. Now, unfortunately, all of the boats I'm going to mention today are completely out of my price range, but it is incredibly important to understand what boats are available in today's market, which features each vessel has, and which ones cost money so that you can later determine the features that are important for you and your cruising future. So regardless of if these are out of your budget or not, you need to pay attention today. So, first up, we're going to look at our hybrid Dexalons. Now, those are going to be things like the Hunter 41 Dexalon, a 44 Dexalon, and so on. We also have some Chinoo Dexalons. There's a 39 DS, a 41 DS, a 45 DS, and so on. Now, why are these not true Dexalons? Well, the actual definition of a Dexalon sailboat, wow, look at this guy's Photos. What the French toast are you doing, man? Put some effort into this. Oh, this guy watermarked his photos. Yeah, because we care about your trash photos, dude. You take those with your cell phone while you were at it. Wow. These guys just do an atrocious job. Anywho, so first up, the budget deck salons. Now, what is a true Dexalon? Well, a true Dexalon sailboat is where your cockpit and your cabin are at the exact same height so that you can walk from the cockpit to the cabin without having to take steps down or up. That is what makes a vessel an actual Dexalon, as you can see here on the Moody 41DS. So let's pop back on over to Yacht World. Right here, we have a 2015 Sun Odyssey 44DS for Dexalon. Now, as you can see here, it's kind of hard to tell in photos, but as you can see here, clearly the cockpit is not at the same height as the salon. You have to step down into the cabin. So why do they call these a deck salon? Well, what they have actually done is they have raised the cabin sole. So that is just the floor inside of your cabin. They've raised it up. They have also raised the coach roof up here and given you windows. So when you stand down in the salon, you can see directly out here, as well as the second set of windows that you can see while you are seated inside. And as usual, we have a broker doing an absolutely atrocious, atrocious job at showing just how amazing this vessel is. So here is your master suite horrible photo as you'd come to expect from brokers because they put the absolute least amount of work into their job possible and this guy's selling a three hundred thousand dollar sailboat now to point out what i mean here here's trash cans photos on their Geno deck salon and if we pop on over to some actual decent photos here is your actual master suite this is what your master suite actually looks like inside of a 44 DS. This is why it is so incredibly important to leave the house and go look at vessels instantly because these brokers do such a bad job at taking the photos. Now, the Geno 44 Dexalon, obviously an absolutely stunning vessel. Here is that raised coach roof once again. The dual set of windows that you can see from the seated position as well as standing again and so on. But as you can see, our cockpit is not the same height as our salon. So these are a hybrid Dexalon and they are much, much more affordable than you're going to find with your true Dexalons. And this is just an example of the Geno 44 DS for your viewing pleasure with some decent photos because the manufacturer actually took them, not the trash can broker. As we pop back on over to Yacht World, what is it you'd think you'd expect to pay? Well, in reality, you're gonna pay right around $100,000 for a hybrid modern-ish Dexalon, that would be something like the Genoa 39DS. Once again, with our broker's phenomenal photos, this guy should be in a museum. 
Like, it just doesn't take that much to take a decent photo. Now, there are obviously pros and cons to deck salons or hybrid deck salons compared to a mono hull, and it's really just going to come down to a personal preference. Again, on the 39DS, we have our lip down into the cock or the cat, uh, yeah, down into the cabin. I'm not a fan of that, but personal preference. You get the dual helms, a nice raised coach roof on the vessel and a lot of exterior lighting inside. If we can ever get to the interior photos, because Broker McGavin over here on aisle five felt it necessary to take 77 photos of the exterior. There we go, the interior of our vessel. What is this tapestry around? Oh, my Lanta. Any, what in the, okay, I don't, all right. Anyway, so here's our raised coach roof. Giant windows, lots of exterior light, raised cabin sole, as you can see right here by the step down towards the forward V berth. So that's an example of a Geno 39DS. Your nice nav station. Now these aren't really needed anymore. What you should start to consider nav stations as is a desk. Can you do some work there? And this one has plenty of room to do some work. So that's an added bonus. Cruising right along, you ruined your table by doing a, uh, polyurethane chart don't do that people don't do that uh and moving and cruising we're shaking we're baking bingo bango the Geno sun odyssey 39 ds now another budget example it's not really budget because these are expensive boats but another example of a less expensive deck slum would be the hunter 41 ds this has an absolute stunning amount of room on the vessel one of the biggest downfalls, in my opinion, is it's a $125,000 vessel, and it's a single helm. And I'll show you that as soon as we get through uh, Broker Johnny's 77 exterior photos. Here we go. So we have a nice cockpit, and it's actually incredibly large. It's just a single helm. Personal preference. I prefer dual helms, but this is very, very nice for a single helm vessel. And again, we have our step up into the companionway there. Not a fan. Neither here nor there what I think. It's all about you. Hey, look at this. They did like a lacquered board. Hey, they put some effort. And they even matched their compass. Hold on. That's me clapping. Round of applause for the effort, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever owns this boat, my hat is off to you. Good job on the effort. Oh, I. they do a lot of fishing too. Got eight racks. Wow. So here we are, again, raised cabin sole, raised coach roof. We got some exterior lighting going on. Nice, nice feature on sailboats. Step down into your cabins because the cabin sole is raised. So here we go, another step down. Bingo, bango, bongo, moving, cruising. Hey, they got a medic freezer. Those are nice too. There's a, there's a lot going on with this boat and this guy did a fantastic job. This guy really, really did a good job and took care of this. And he added features that were actually useful. These Dometics are phenomenal. Uh, Eric has one on his new 409. I'm not sure if he's wired it yet, but he's got one. Anywho, I'll be on that boat in three weeks sailing uh, the wild blue yonder or something like that, I guess we should call it. And so there we are. So those are some examples of your hybrid, more budget friendly deck salon vessels. Something like the 41 Hunter DS, the Genoa 39 DS. Now that's about as inexpensive as you're gonna find on a Dexalon vessel that it's gonna be modern. So if we pop on over to an actual Dexalon, you'll bump into something like this, the Moody 41 DS. Now I was just on this vessel in the Annapolis Boat Show and oh my Lanta, she's an absolute stunner and my bank account just divorced me for even looking at her because there's no way I can ever afford this vessel, but holy smokes, she's a stunner. They are incredibly expensive and rightfully so. Now, let's browse through some photos and you can see what I'm talking about here. So as we can see, our cockpit is the same height as our cabin, so you can just walk directly through. An absolutely giant beam on the vessel as you'd expect for something in this price range. So these are just exterior photos, but you kind of get a little bit of a sense of the room on the vessel and these still in no way do it justice. But this is a nice shot because you can just see directly through the entire vessel. You have 360 degree views at all time. Giant swap, swim platform, dual helms. I mean, 
wow, wow, and wow. These things are absolutely stunning. And I wish I could afford one, but uh, not in this lifetime, maybe the next lifetime. Now, if we kick on down to our interior photos, this is what makes the Dexlon so amazing. As I said, 360 degree view here on this. All the same level for our main salon area and our cockpit. And then we step down into the forward V-berth, which is ridiculously huge. It's like an apartment down there. Uh, there is your master. Wow. Talk about headroom in this vessel. If you're a tall guy and you have lots of money, just pick up one of these. And then we have like this extra bedroom with... The <sighs> This is the exact layout that I just saw. I mean, these things are mind blowing. Just look at this. Uh, and then again, there's our like spare bedroom. I, I would probably never leave my boat if I had one of these. Now the problem, you can get it in a wide variety of layouts. So that's not the problem, obviously. The problem is the gosh darn price. So here we have a two cabin layout. Uh, so you get your master up here and extra there. There is the little double layout, which I'm not, yeah, there it is. So now we have our master with our little two bedroom, two bed stateroom, I guess. These, this just doesn't do uh, anything to justify this vessel. Uh, the amount of storage on these things, absolutely absurd as we're cruising right here. I mean, giant cockpit, everything's the same level as far as your main cockpit uh salon area to your cockpit it's got that hard top with a retractable sunshade in it i mean these things are just wow and you don't have to heal it at all if you don't want to this boat will absolutely cook uh just under normal conditions and you could just do anything you ever wanted to do on this vessel it will take you anywhere in the world you ever wanted to go a helm station in the salon so you can basically helm your vessel from inside if the weather sucks uh i mean it just does not get better than these things plenty of extra little hidden compartments storage usbs throughout i mean wow wow and wow uh let's see what else they're going to show us here on the uh video you know, I think that these, I appreciate the amount of effort that goes into making these videos, but you need to make the vessel the center of the video, not the birds, not people walking on the beach, not a couple laying in the grass and smiling. You need to make your vessel the main component of your video. The vessel is the star. We don't need supporting actors. Uh, but so here we go. Here's our swim platform. Oh, some more supporting actors. What are you guys drinking there? I uh, forgot the name of that beverage. The one that comes in the copper cup. Somebody can comment down below and let me know what it is. Midships boarding ladders. Those are nice. They come in handy. Huge foldable table right there. And so on. I mean, as we just... There's your retractable sunshade. I mean, how cool is that? Just enclose that whole thing and have a giant outdoor living room. They're simply phenomenal. <laughs> oh, look. Don't mind us. We have a theater on our bow. Now, this vessel, in my opinion, would be incredibly comparable to a catamaran. You get all many of the same features, tons of room. Um, and price-wise, they're very, very comparable for a newer mid-40s catamaran. I personally would always choose the deck salon 100% over a catamaran. An actual true deck salon. Not a hybrid, but a true deck salon. Look at the amount of storage that comes in this thing. Huge. I mean, that bathroom is probably bigger than my bathroom in my apartment. The thing's giant. You get lost there. See, again, we don't need a girl staring in the mirror with a weird smile putting on lipstick for your boat video, uh, Moody. And Hans recently bought Moody, somewhat recently, um, just so you know, in case you are unaware. So as we just try to browse through here, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, super, super high tech. There she is. So that is a Moody 41 actual deck salon. Now the problem is the price. Now look, you can't find them used and they're over half a million dollars. There's three on the market or four on the market right now. 
That is the bummer about an actual true deck salon. It's the gosh darn price. Like I said, my bank account <laughs> divorced me. It left and it took all the money. Um, so there we are. There's the Moody 41 DS. So our competitor to a traditional actual deck salon like the Moody would be Serious Yachts. Now these guys have a variety of them. They have a 310, a 35, and a 40 DS. I am not a fan of Serious Yachts, and I will show you exactly why. It does not mean they're bad. They're phenomenal yachts. The quality is amazing. The design, not a fan of, uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at them. So here is a Serious 40. Now, the first thing that I notice is it's it's starting to already look a little bit cluttered here. So we have a single helm on the vessel. It's a nice cockpit for sure. Big, big swim platform, fantastic build quality. My first issue is it's a single helm and I have to step down into the salon as it stands. So let's zip around here. So I'm instantly having to step down. I don't like that. In my opinion, opinion Sirius has tried to pack too much into a vessel of this size. As you can see, I step down into the salon and then again, a big step around a corner down to a cabin. We have a very, very nice nav station right here. There is our galley as well. And we have to step up to our sitting area. So for me, the vessel just starts to be a little bit too cluttered. Again, fantastic vessel, lots and lots of room, but with the amount of steps, it it's broken the vessel up too much in my humble opinion. So if we go back here, they do have some incredible features though. Now right here underneath this, they have the bat cave. You literally pop up the seat there and it's an entire workshop down there. It's wow. I mean, <laughs> I just can't, it's absolutely stunning. Comes with a vice. <laughs> it should come with loaded gold bars for the price of this vessel because this is going to fall right in that five, six hundred thousand dollar range that the uh, Moody does as well. But these are, I mean, they're phenomenal. I simply don't like them. Then we have our aft cabin here. Again, they've just tried to, in my opinion, I think they've just tried to add too much. If you look at this compared to the Moody that we just looked at, you can see the Moody is much more uh, open with a wide layout. And there's a ton of details I can't cover about both of these vessels in a 20 minute video. So if you have that kind of money and you are interested in actual deck salons, I would suggest going and taking a look at these two, the Moody and the Sirius. Get on board. These pictures, these specs on paper cannot do these kind of boats justice. They're just phenomenal. And although I don't like the Sirius compared to the Moody, it is still an absolutely phenomenal vessel. Um, so go take a look. And then also in the comments, let me know what you think of the deck salons. Are you cool with a hybrid deck salon with the, ro with the raised uh, coach roof like on the Geno 39DS? Do you prefer the Moody 41 deck salon or do you like the serious deck salons? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Hopefully you liked today's video and the intro. Again, if it scared you, leave a comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you need help getting on the water sooner than later in the most cost-effective and time-efficient manner without getting burned, head on over to my website at chasinglatitudes.com. Sign up for a consulting package and let's get you on the water. Now, I do want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. All my videos are made possible 100% through my patrons. To sign up for my patron, it's only $10 a month, and you do get full access to my private members area with several hundred members all looking to get on the water sooner than later. So hopefully, I will see you on my patron and members area soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, make sure to leave a comment down below, and turn on those notifications. Thank you so much.